Hi, I'm Jorge de Jesus from Plymouth Marine Laboratory and I'm going to show you how to use orchestration in Taverna using WPS services. Um, I have here three WPS services instances that I'm going to orchestrate. Uh, the first one is uh, raster services. They are based on GRASGIS using the WPS GRASS bridge from Soren and I'm going to here show this service it's called Watershed. I'm going to orchestrate it inside the Verna. And for that, I'm also going to use some auxil auxiliary services that I have here. Um, we have here a GeoTIFF to PNG service that simply transforms the GeoTIFF into a RGB image so I can see it inside the Verna. And what I just need to do is copy paste this link here that is a weasel description from the services okay this is also part of the WPS services and I'm going to import it okay import. while it loads I'm going to explain about the service structure in Taverna this is the raster service that I've uploaded before it's the WPS that I show you with the R with the grass GIS modules and here we have some local services this is for example a base 64 services to decode and encode information in the base 64 format and here for example this is a text manipulation I'm not going to use it just to see it And here we have some service templates we can use to generate new services, for example, Arch shell scripts, or for example, we can simply get from information using XPath services. Okay, seems that my service has loaded. Uh, okay, I'm going to open it, and I'm going to fetch the GeoTIFF to PNG service add it to the workflow diagram editor it appears here okay each service has a data input and process output and I have to use a one thing called an XML splitter to see it okay I just have one input and I'm going to check the outputs I have also just one output okay for the input I'm going to fetch a digital elevation model that's just an elevation model here I'm just going to copy the link just enough to pass the links and I'm going to add it uh, to the as an input to the service okay just going to change the name so I know exactly what it is so the dam is added as an input going to the service and the service will simply output an image but it's in base64 and I need to decode it into binary the service okay I'm just going to add an output port so I can see the result okay connecting um just to see it okay just to show it what exactly comes outside from the WPS just going to bypass the base 64 decoding so you can see it what's going on okay I'm running the services <laughs> and it's finished okay value one oh, it's my image there's some green spots here, it's basically null values or values that are below zero and here's for example the base64 coding of that image um, so it's just to see it, this was a very simple example of orchestration now I'm here it's a different representation okay I'm going to do a new workflow slightly more complex okay I'm just going to copy here my dem going to the second workflow going to paste it 
and I'm going to use it in the watershed service. I'm going to pick it up. Okay, where is it? Here. Okay, the watershed has a lot of inputs, but um, I just needed to add one. Okay, it's better to change the view. And I just need elevation. So I'm going to connect the elevation input to the dam. And that's it. Okay, I'm going to get the outputs. Also, I have something like four or five outputs from this service, but I'm just going to use one, the accumulation result. Okay, this service is also a base64 service, so it's uh, just a new codified image. I need to transform it into a binary. No, sorry. But before that, I need to convert it to a, a PNG image. Just one minute. Uh, connect one output to the other. Okay. So I'm going to connect the accumulation result output into my input to the GeoTIFF2 PNG. And here it's where I have to do the base64 decoding. Okay picking the service, passing gluing, okay, and now I just need to add an output port where I can see the image, okay. So here we go, connecting to the output port, okay. So, we have the dam, and I'm going to call also again the GeoTIFF to PNG service so I can have two images to compare it. Okay. And I'm going to connect everything to the output port just before the base 64 transformation okay connecting everything to the output port okay some generic view of the workflow so we have the dam it's passing to the watershed being transformed to PNG and also at the same time the dam is converted to a PNG so I'm going to have two images one the original one and one after the watershed. I'm going to analyze. Okay, running the service and okay, we have an image and we have a service that failed. Okay, this is the image from the dem and we have here a WPS exception report. It's uh, typical of WPS is to report if in case there's any problems. I'm going to see what's the problem and following error message was logged. Da -da -da. Here. Okay, you must provide a value for the basin threshold. This is an input from the R watershed that I seem that I've forgotten. And I'm going to add it. Okay, I've seen it. It's here going to add it, We're just going to add a number, let's put it 100, okay, so everything seems to be in order, I'm going to run it again, let's see, okay, we have one image, uh, what the shed is being run, have to wait a bit and it should be coming okay 
seems to have been run it's passing, now it's transforming the image and it should take longer okay uh, okay it has finished this is the original image this is the image after the watershed so we can see here the rivers and the flow accumulation perfectly it's like we have here the dam and this is the result from the service this image so it's uh, perfect okay and that's it um, all of this can be found in the PyWPS wiki uh, we have a wiki with all this information and okay I hope you enjoy it thank you